What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the grind. Okay, playing as the white pieces today. Usual opening, nothing funny here. Nothing weird. Okay, let's see how we can do. Feeling pretty well rested today. Pretty rare for me. Which means we're going to play C3. Yeah, I've just gotten into the habit of any time I play bishop to f5, I just always push c3. Because if uh, the knight gets onto here, onto b4, he finds the fork. Only thing they can take is the queen, and then it's just bad news. Um, okay, so I probably want to get my knight out. Seems reasonable. Only tricky part about when they play f5 is that it makes bishop d3 really hard to get out. Yeah, so I think next move, the thing that I've been having success with, if he plays bishop d6, I've gotten into the habit of playing knight e5, and I've had decent luck with that. It kind of forces a good favorable trade, in my opinion. The yeah, only thing I don't like about this position is that the bishop has to get out onto e2, which seems less than ideal. So it's almost like this light square bishop kind of like has to go or something. Hmm. I was debating between knight d2 and bishop e2 there. Playing Celeste Ochiotes from France. France. The strut in my office chair has been sinking. So I'm constantly having to adjust it. So if you see me getting shorter and shorter, that's why. Yeah, so um I've had I've had decent success with 95 here. It allows either the bishop or the pawn to get on e5 after the trade. So, actually, I actually like this move the most. The autopilot move that I was normally used to was just going back to bishop g3 and then trading off the pawn uh, for the bishop and then opening up the h file. But I tend to play worse when that happens. And yeah, I've been experimenting with this in Blitz, and I like it. Yeah. Now, the one thing I always go back and forth on is whether or not to take with the pawn or the bishop. I'm pretty sure the move here is just pawn because it just forces the king back. Um, because he can always just trade off here. But I think the pawn e5 is more powerful here. The only thing I don't like about pawn e5 is that when the knight gets onto f3, um, the e5 square is just occupied by the pawn, and then that pawn can't really get out of the way. Um, and then the pawns are stacked. So that's the only thing I don't like about it, but it does force the knight back. So, yeah. So now we have to figure out if we want to trade the knights off. Yeah, I think the knight trade, I don't know. I don't like doing it. I'm trying to think of what else he might have. 
He can't go b4, d4. Can't go g3. I mean, castling is always an idea here. There's this kind of interesting idea of like trading, trading the bishops off and then targeting uh, g7. Kind of gets the queen out too. I've never tried that. Hmm. It's an interesting idea. I don't think it's very good though. I guess it might work though. Because if he were to castle, could just go for the really simple or harass the, the pinned pawn. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure about this one. I think I'm just going to play the knight trade. Hopefully I don't miss something here. I don't think I'm missing anything. This is kind of why I was going back and forth about getting the bishop out first or getting the knight out first. Because um, if I got the knight out first, I would have just been able to trade off and he would have had to play one of these moves. So that's why I was going back and forth. It's like, is it better to castle or play bishop e2 or get the knight out first? So, hmm, ideas. I think he's no, I think if he wanted to play h4, he would have played it already. Hmm. So, he wants the knight to come out, or he wants me to take here. I always come harass this way. No, but then that just kind of loses a knight. It would be kind of funny to harass. I think he's going to just castle queenside. I bet that's what he's going to do. I almost wonder if, like, queen b3 is a better idea here. I don't think he's going to castle kingside for some reason. Hmm. Well, I think I'm just going to trade off. Do I want to, though? I don't know. Seems like he wants me to trade, so that's why I'm a little hesitant to do it. I'm just going to go for it. <clears throat> Not think too hard about it. wonder what he's going to take with, though. Yeah. I think he should have taken the knight. <laughs> just just me personally. <laughs> so, yeah, he just gave me a free piece. I mean, I can just move this knight back and then I'm <laughs> basically scotch free here. Uh, it seems like a blunder. Mm. I want to attack his uh, light square bishop. Let me think. Does his light square bishop just get trapped if I go over here? No. He still got plenty of room to move around. Well, I'm just going to put my knight back. I mean, he gave me a free knight, so I'm going to take it. I don't think he can take anything else. I'm really tempted to just castle queen side uh, as well. Just get the line the rooks up and stuff. Hmm. I go that way. Well, I will create like a giga pawn chain here. Could always threaten that bishop, but I think this pawn chain is just too nice. I'm sinking. One of my problems is that my dark square bishop is very, very locked in. 
No. Hmm. Need to defend that. So I can just fall back. How can I protect that? I think I just have to fall back. Bishop g3. Yeah, this uh, um, presents a threat against the queen. <clears throat> Am I missing anything? I want to make sure I'm not missing anything really obvious here. I think it's okay. G5 would have been an interesting move uh, if I had a way to support the bishop on G5 here. I want to go after the knight. Well, I kind of would continue like to... I'd like to continue attacking his queen. But I also kind of want to start harassing his side as well. Yeah, I don't really like knight f3. I'd rather get the knight active on his queen side at this point. But I need to get my queen into the mix too. But maybe this move is just okay. Hmm. I don't really want to castle king side. I don't know why, but I just, for some reason, just don't want to. Yeah, I don't know, f3. f3 just doesn't seem like the play after he castled queen side. My intuition tells me between b3 or a4. Well, I'm not going to listen to my intuition. <laughs> Who needs it? <laughs> I do have to be careful here. My dark square bishop is a bit pinned, so if he goes back, I probably just need to castle. Because if, yeah, so like in this scenario, if I was to try to attack his rook, um, he would get this... Uh, this g-pawn, which I know I get a lot of hate about giving the g-pawns up <laughs> to the queen, <laughs> but I kind of just don't want to do it. Also, this is a really nice fork here. I don't think there's any way he can save his light square bishop. Hmm. Yeah, I feel really obligated to play this fork here. This queen's going to be forced to move back into a bad spot. And, um, uh, I'm up four, so I feel totally fine just trading some pieces off here. Yeah, this seems okay. I know a knight on the rim and all that stuff, but... You could maybe play, like, bishop c2? Yeah, um, I'm totally fine to just trade this off. I don't see why not. Whatever.
Yeah. Okay. So I'm really tempted to just offer the queen trade here since I'm already up four points. Kind of want a castle too. But I feel like the queen's going to be valuable for finding mate here. So that's why I'm not in too big of a hurry to give, give her up. But I have the bishop pair, which is pretty strong against his one knight. So, I mean, what can he really do? I want to lock in this diagonal for the light square bishop, though. I don't know. I feel like in this case, the light square bishop is going to be really valuable, and the dark square bishop is going to be a lot less valuable. So would I rather attack him this way? Mm -mm. Ideas. Maybe just castling is fine at this point. I'm not going to think too hard about it and just castle. I don't think he has enough forces to throw down besides the pawns at this point. I probably want to break open the center too, huh? Yeah, here we go. The pawn march. Attack a bishop or attack a rook. Forcing move. Yeah, part of me really wants to play something. I really just want to get this bishop on, on this diagonal here, but... Hmm. Um, how can I offer the trade here? Um, this queen's not a huge threat. This bishop's pretty locked in, huh? Hmm. I'm gonna try something. I'm gonna try something a bit uncanny. He's really not interested. Well, I think he's going to be in for a bit of a rough surprise when I push h3. So if I go h3, he can't fall back here. 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 He can't go here. He can't go here. He can't go here. So I think h3 just traps his queen in. I think I think his best bet would have been... What would his best bet have been here? Honestly, something like queen d2, maybe? As weird as that is. I think his queen is just trapped in here. Yeah, because these are all the squares his queen can go. And those are all 
Those are all guarded, right? So guarded, 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 guarded by the pawn, guarded by the bishop, guarded by the rook and the queen. And I think his queen is trapped. And then guarded by the bishop as well. Yeah. Pawn, you are the employee of the day. <laughs> yeah, his queen's trapped. I keep telling myself I'm going to fix this chair, but I just can't ever seem to get around to it. It's on my bottom list to do list. Oh, 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 wow. Guys. I think D2 was honestly his best bet. I know that sounds crazy, but. What's this idea here? Okay, we're cooking now. We are cooking. Probably we just want to get the rooks out. So he doesn't I'm looking for just any like really annoying moves. If only this pawn wasn't here. Yeah, that is like a maiden one if it wasn't for this pawn. Um Okay, so he has a check. I can just take. Let's not overcomplicate things. So takes there, takes on c2, e2. Yeah, it takes and we just trade off rooks. f3, just take with the pawn. f5, I'm just going to. Take with the bishop and just trade the rooks off, no big deal. Okay. I don't think that's gonna work how you want it to work. I have this killer fork here if he ever moves. I kind of just want to get the bishop onto e3. It just seems like a good spot for it. It attacks the knight and then it snags the pawn as well. Mm. Well, that pawn's going to be pinned, so. Not sure what the play here is. Yeah, I can just... Um, yeah, I could just freely take that and then give him check. That's a free pawn. Uh, I could bring... Could try to just trade the rooks off, but I don't know. Free pawn is a free pawn. He has a pawn here. Mm, I think I'm actually going to take with the queen just to protect this pawn here. Weird as that is. Okay. I have a lot of options. I'm just going to continue to protect this pawn. Well, yeah, he has two def two defend attack uh, defenders there. 
So that's probably good for him, but uh, what's like a more pressing move that I can make? Don't want to get too comfortable here. As we all know, bad things can happen when we get too comfortable. I bet it's some kind of check. I could just take this rook, but I don't. Mm, pretty good spot for the knight, not gonna lie. Mm. Actually, his knight is pinned here. His knight's pinned. I want to bring out the second. Okay, so he just unpins his knight, which is good. So he's probably looking after the pawn. So I'll probably just go protect that. It also just delivers a check. Also do just have mate this way. Yeah, maybe I just... No, I don't have mate because he has the knight protecting a7. I think I'll just go back here. Part of me wants to just play rook c1 as well and just get this rook, rook active. I kind of like this move. It's going to win either the rook or the knight, and the knight is kind of annoying right now. And if he wants to trade rooks off, that's fine. Yeah, I kind of like this move. E4. Yeah, if he takes, just going to take his knight. Yeah, that's good. This knight's really annoying, so. And then this will set me up for a mate faster. The bishop's defended here. Yeah, I can take this pawn. I can take the rook. Uh, I think the rook is a little bit more valuable. Rook and a check. Get the rook out over here to d7. Uh, I have check here. Rook on the seventh can't be too bad. Really, it's just mate. Yeah, it's just mate. Yeah, cool. GG, Celeste, Chiotes. Man, I'm sinking so hard. Um, so I want to say his game. Her game? His? Her? Her game fell apart when she didn't recapture, what was it, the knight on e4? Or what was that? Let's go back and look. But I basically got a free piece on 90.7. That's unusual. Yeah, castle and queenside here with the knight just chilling with two attackers on it, no defenders. The knight just had to be taken. Um, it's It was just too hard to come back from that. Yeah, and then this pawn push was also just sort of a mistake because it just let me create an epic pawn chain, which was pretty hard to break through. So, and yeah, the, what was it? Pawn h3 was a really good move. Oh, I guess I could have pushed either pawn. Oh yeah, I guess f3 made more sense because then it would have let me get the bishop out onto f2. Yeah, okay. Well, let's take the game from the start. Um, there's a few positions that I'm curious about. Okay, so d4, f4, e3, c3. I actually like... I, I don't like c4 here. Why? Because... It sets up for this move, and it's kind of hard to defend. Um, because you have to create another defender for c2 here. And you can't really bring your bishop out because there's two defenders here. If you push up a3, you just get forked. 
So I don't actually like c4 in this position. It's, I've gotten burned by that a lot. So like, let's just play this out. b4. And then what does the um, engine recommend? Oh, oh, the check. Okay, yeah, sure. So that's that's pretty cool, yeah. I didn't actually... Uh, yeah, I've never actually noticed that one. Hmm. That is definitely a move. Oh, uh, yeah. Never noticed that one before. Hmm. I'll have to keep that one in mind. Yeah, I've run... I've... um. Had really bad luck when the opponent has the uh, bishop knight combo pointing to c2, but I've always ignored this. Queen a4. That's a really interesting idea. That just wins a knight. Interesting. Okay. So, yeah, so. Right. So, what could he do? I don't know. What's the play? You have to protect with the bishop, right? Oh, but either way, that's winning a knight. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Really interesting line there. I learned something new there. That's cool. Okay, so c3 is a bit more of a passive move here. Okay. Yeah, d3. Yeah, in this position, I always have a big debate between the order that the minor pieces should come out at. Because in one regard, it's nice to get the knight out to f3, but in another regard, it's also ha nice to have the knight on d2 to protect the f3 knight, I feel. So, and then going for the, the pin here. Yeah. Fair. I actually personally really like knight e5 here. Maybe you guys can give me your opinions here, but I don't know. I like knight e5. I think the annoying move here is knight e4. Kind of makes it difficult to deal with. Because it's hard to get um, sort of attackers onto this square, and then you're kind of forced to just trade these off, right? Kicking with the bishop. Interesting. Hmm. I see. Captured back. So what's the advantage here? 0. 0.89 versus 0. 0.62. So this maintains the advantage. Hmm. Doesn't this just happen though? <laughs> Isn't this just the play? And then his knight still can hop over here to e4. And now this pawn's a bit isolated. I think that's why I like taking with the pawn better there. What's this? H4, what is it? H4? I wouldn't play H4. I thought knight d2 was okay. You permitted the opponent to kick a bishop. Really? Oh. Oh. I see. Good to know. I don't know why H4 is the play though. Yeah, let's be real. I got really lucky this game. The opponent didn't capture the knight back, so it just made it a lot easier. So, yeah, kind of the whole game basically fell apart in these two moves. And then after that, it was just really hard to find any kind of advantage. At this point, I was just chasing the queen around. Looks like I played bishop d3 one move too late. Offer to trade the queen. Yeah, queen trade should have been played here. G4 was just a really bad square because the queen couldn't escape diagonally anywhere. Yeah, I would say here, at a bare minimum, um, at least take a bishop instead of a pawn on your way out. Yeah, I mean, I guess here, like, it's a, what's that move? What's the term called? Zweischenswunk or something? <laughs> like if you know you're going to lose a piece, you might as well take out as much of the opponent's material on your way out. So yeah, I think bishop here was the play. Rook d4. Yeah, even that's bad. 
Oh, I guess that allows the queen to escape. That's an interesting idea. Hmm. Basically creating an escape for your queen. Wouldn't have thought of that, actually. It's very unnatural. Well, let me think about it here. So, I'm up 12 here. She would have just taken this. I would have been up 10. Okay. So, she plays this move. Now I'm only up 7. Interesting, yeah. So, yeah, sacking the rook there. Very surprising play. Very interesting idea. Good move there. Good move there. Oh, free pawn. Check. Oh, that's really stupid of me to not notice that. Free pawn check. Really dumb. Hmm. I guess I just noticed it one move too late. I don't know. I, how did I not notice that? That's really dumb. I need to open my eyeballs sometime. Nice move there. Yeah. I mean, the rook was free. Yeah, the pawn was free, but the, taking the rook was nicer. Now, did I actually find the ideal mate line there? That's rare. Oh, sacking the rook. Oh, no, not sacking the rook. It's defended. Oh, interesting. And then where? Well, I'm pretty happy with how this game went. Yeah, kind of a one-sided game. I got really lucky. The opponent just played two bad moves. Really just one bad move. Um... So if I'm just being super honest, it wasn't like a very difficult game. The moves were kind of just in front of them. And then once the queen got trapped, it all just really fell apart too. So um, yeah, GG Celeste Ochiotes. Thanks for the game. See you guys in the next one.